Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Tony Shahadi. I am one of the oral surgeons at C4 Oral Surgery. On behalf of our entire team and my clinical partner, Dr. Mark Shinuda, we thought it'd be appropriate to reach out to you today to talk to you about the current state of affairs affecting dentistry and oral surgery and how we as a practice are coping with the situation. Our entire team and ourselves are currently at home in isolation with our families and we're trying to keep busy. In many instances, we're acting as educators for our children. And other than that, we're also absorbing and keeping track of the tremendous amounts of information that are coming across our computers regarding new standards of practice and new standards of infection control that are going to affect our practices in the future. As you're all aware, the Order of Dentists of Quebec has mandated us to restrict our clinical practices simply to that of severe dental emergencies. The emergency conditions that we'll consider treating at the present time are restricted to one of three categories. One of them is facial trauma or injuries. The second is severe facial infections that cannot be treated with antibiotics. And the third are severe intractable pain, either of dental or facial origin, that cannot be treated with pain medication. The goal with this strategy is to minimize the exposure of the public to the potential for acquiring the COVID infection. The second goal is to minimize the necessity to refer patients to hospitals in order to minimize overwhelming the risk of overwhelming the medical system and to minimize your exposure on being sent to a hospital clinic. We want you to know that at C4 Thoral Surgery, our telephone lines are being answered during normal business hours. Our existing emergency services for current patients are still active and our office email address is being answered on a consistent basis. So we are here for you when you need us. These are particularly stressful and troubling times for all of us. I'm sure you're also listening to the news and seeing the troubling statistics of escalating numbers of COVID cases in various countries on our planet and the very unfortunate human tragedy that's associated with them and the deaths that ensue. We all have a role to play in isolating ourselves and distancing ourselves socially, sometimes from family and friends, to minimize and try to flatten the curve of COVID affecting our community. Our hope is that our hospital systems won't become as overwhelmed as in other parts of the world and patients will be able to receive clinical care. One of the questions you might have is, what happens to me if I fall into one of those three categories or if one of my family members has one of these emergencies? What you should do is get in touch with your dentist or an oral surgeon or one of our team members at C4 Oral Surgery, where we will interview you by telephone or by video conference and try to alleviate your discomfort using pharmacology, medication, or certain strategies that we know about that we can share with you over the telephone. If it becomes absolutely necessary, a referral to one of the hospital centers that I referred to earlier can be facilitated. At this point, I'd like to take a moment to express a vote of gratitude and thanks to the doctors, the nurses, and all the auxiliary staff that are currently working on the front lines of the hospitals that are dealing with this COVID crisis. Thank you so much for your dedication and for being there for us. I'd also like to thank the dental and oral and maxillofacial surgery teams that are working in hospitals and that are alleviating human suffering on a day-to-day -day basis by being available and present to treat the dental emergencies we've referred to. Thank you. We continue to study and absorb the large amounts of information that are coming across our computers from various professional organizations. Our goals in studying this information are to make sure that when practices resume, that we'll be ready to provide patients clinical care under the best and safest of clinical circumstances, adopting new infection control procedures and policies that will certainly be put into place. To recap, given the particular nature of circumstances that are affecting all of our lives, we felt it would be appropriate to reach out to our patients and to our clinical collaborators and their teams to let you know that we're thinking about you. We are anxious to resume clinical practice and we'll try to let you know with, a, with as much advance notice when we'll be able to do so. We have no choice as a community and a society to make it through the other side of this crisis. We want you to know that in these very isolating times, you're not alone going through this process until we can resume practice. Please stay healthy, please stay safe, and please stay home. Thank you so much for listening to us. 
And please remember that we're here for you in case you need us for emergency management. Thank you.